This weekend, comic lovers and pop culture fans gather in Sao Paulo, Brazil for the annual Comic Con. The experience includes TV games, fantasy literature, and collectibles. The industry will pay attention to the turnout to further develop the market. CCTV's Paulo Cabral has all the details. For these aficionados, dressing up as their favorite characters is much more than kids play. They take their cosplay seriously and put much effort and money into it. For them, the largest fair of pop culture and comics in Brazil, the annual Comic Con experience is the moment to show off. Cosplayers take this very seriously and it's for everybody. You can be tall or short, fat or thin, and it doesn't matter your age. You just need to love a character and to have fun dressing up. There are even people that do cosplay for a job and make money out of it, even making costumes for other people. I am halfway there. Sometimes I do it as work. With all this enthusiasm, it's a great opportunity for shops and manufacturers to pitch their products to fans while trying to win new customers. One thing that we are doing here is trying to bring new collectors, new customers to these markets. So we just opened our Island Studios concept store and we want to focus, we want folks in the, this kind of people that they like movies but they are not collectors, you know. So we are trying to get the market bigger and bigger with, of course, normal people, not hard, hardcore fans. Big shops and publishing houses are the main sponsors of this event. But there is also room for independent artists and illustrators to show their work. Here, visitors can commission custom-made drawings, and in some cases, made by the same artists that work in Brazil for major American publishing companies. Eduardo Pansica is one of them. For the last five years, he's been working for DC Comics. He draws in Brazil and sends his work to the company's headquarters in the U.S. for publication. When I started working in 2009, there were already a number of Brazilian illustrators that had come before, so the industry already trusted our work. It's not that there aren't enough good professionals in the U.S., but Brazilians that work well and can be trusted certainly find their space. There are no consolidated figures about the size of this market in Brazil, but those working and investing in this industry are confident and the success of this fair is giving them more reasons for optimism. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.